Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetech4teachers.com. In this video, I want to give you a short overview of a nice tool called Educanon. Educanon is great for flipped classroom lessons. It allows me to build a series of questions around almost any video you can find on the web. So we're going to get started here. I'm already signed into my account, and I'm going to create a new lesson here. My lesson is going to be about the Irish potato famine. And my learning objective here, I can state it as anything I want it to be. Uh, if you have a set of standards for your uh, school's curriculum, you could import those. Here I'm just going to say understanding causes. And I've already selected my grade and subject area. I can even select a subtopic here. Let's go with European history. Now my video, in this case, I have one from YouTube of Keith Hughes's latest Irish potato famine video. And I'll paste that in place. Otherwise, I can click any of these links here and do a search for content. So now we see the video loading here. And we can pause it at any point. And we can crop the video. Let's say you don't need the first few seconds of it to play for your students. Now bear in mind that will not eliminate advertising on YouTube. If you have a YouTube video that does a pre-roll ad, that's still going to be there. We can also crop out the end of the video if we don't need the end of it. Now let's crop it. And let's add a question here at the bottom. And you can see I was too close to the beginning. Let's start it there. Now let's add a question, and let's add the question in multiple choice format. You'll see some grayed out options here. If I select fill in the blank, it's going to tell me I need to upgrade to the premium version of Educanon. So these uh, ones that are not grayed out are the ones that we can use for free. Let's do a quick multiple choice question or reflective pause. Let's do multiple choice. Now let's go ahead and write our question. So we see the Irish potato pan began in which year? And we can reference the video there. We'll randomize our answer order. Let's add another answer. We'll select the correct answer. And we'll save it at 40 seconds in. As you can see here, I'm at 40 second mark. Let's save it at 40 seconds. And there it is. And we can add as many questions as we like just by repeating that process. Advance the video or play the video and then add another question wherever you like. Let's add one here, add a reflective pause. Do you think that Hughes is doing a good job of explaining this? Do you have questions? And we'll save that in there. So now let's go ahead and finish the build. I'm going to assign this to my World History with Mr. Byrne class. If I don't have any classes already created, it'll prompt me to go ahead and create a class. Let's assign this here. And we'll assign a due date for my students of this coming Thursday. So World History of Mr. Byrne, due on the 15th, and away we go. We can also share this lesson publicly if we want to. We can share it that way. Now let's go ahead and return to my library. And here in my library, you can see other videos that I have 
already used in the past and built questions around. And those are actually called bulbs. Educating calls these things bulbs, and you can assign them at any point. Once you've built a bulb, you can assign it to multiple classes. You can go through and search for previous bulbs. If you just hit the, the assignment tab here, you can see all of your class, classes. You can have up to eight classes. Let's say I want to assign one, just drag it over. You can see that one's already been assigned. So do I want to change the due date? Sure, we can change the due date. We can take my old lesson here, drag that in, or we can change the due date for that one to January 15th. And we'll move it over there. So that's a short overview of EduCanon. It's a great tool for building questions into videos that you find on the internet. For more tips and tricks like this, check out freetechforteachers.com.